track here. We're going to be replacing all these anyway, but it's better to know what went where. All right, this is the high beam switch. your help on this one babe so what I want you to do you can grab this you're gonna put it on here and you're gonna push down kind of hard just keep it set and then you're gonna pull the trigger when I tell you to Check that out. Hood latch down. Nice. Moving on. Right here. Look at all that garbage. These things just rotted away. So next, we're going to go ahead and get off all the turn signals, the infrared IR light, the side marker lights, the reflectors. We'll go ahead and work on the hood and go ahead and get all that disconnected and the headlight, headlight ring bezels as well. Let's go.
So this one is still a good one, and I think I actually have another one in the shed. That's a good one, because this other one, look at that real quick, it is garbage. Just as I suspected, these rubber mounts, <laughs> they, well, these two may be able to be saved, but I don't think so. They're so rusted on the bolt on top of them, so they broke, they broke clean off. That sucks, but it doesn't matter because we're not using this one anyway. And let me move back here and just show you guys what's going on. These are the last pieces that just got labeled. Maddox labeled those off the hood. So yesterday it was raining and crap and I had to go out anyway. So I went ahead and got stainless steel hardware. And what you're looking at right here is $150 worth. That's crazy how expensive this crap is. But I went ahead and put all the odds in. I just pulled like one bolt, like one bolt out of here. So I pretty much, other than those four bags, five bags that are sitting over there, I have every bit of stainless steel hardware to re to put this thing back together once, you know, that's the final, this is after paint and all that stuff, but I want to go ahead and knock that out. But anyways, 150 bucks, man, that's insane.
Oh, it's all kinds of hidden treasures in this thing. It's really, really humid outside. Rust anyone? All right, to access the harness for this side marker, you have to take this off. There's two bolts down here. They go ahead and um, removes this whole little bracket here. You can take these off if you want to release the harness from being pinched down to this and you can you know, take off, do whatever. But let's start with that. I already drilled out the rivets. Boom. Disconnect right here. It had the ground from in there. It broke off. As soon as I went to, I mean, look how rusted these things are. So, moving on.
All right, guys, that's gonna be a wrap for today's video. Man, we got a lot stripped down on this Humvee. I mean, a lot. We got the hood off, which I've never taken the hood off any of the Humvees I've done in the past, but I think I'll get a better paint job out of it with it off anyway. And along in here, just it's gonna be cleaner throughout. We got all the lights out, all the reflectors off, some of the carpet insulation on the inside or whatever the, the foam insulation mats or whatever you call them. Um, yeah, man, we're moving right along on schedule. So this is a, it's all a plus right now. I still want this thing to go down the road and I might just bypass this cooler here, maybe in the next video, just put something in between there, just run the lines together without the cooler. And it'll be fine just to run up and down the road just to see if this thing will actually drive. Um, I still don't know if it goes in gear yet. I haven't messed with that shifter, so we got to get on that too. So, with that being said, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. We got a long way to go on this Humvee. There's going to be a lot of content on it. So, until next time. See you later, guys.